Welcome to this week's edition of The Passion of the Digital Artist. And here he is, your favorite, passionate, traditional artist himself, Jeff Mueller! Boom! You got that one, Xavier. You got it. How are you? I'm great, Jeff. How are you doing? Freaking pumped up. It's been... It's been a couple weeks since we've been here. Yeah, it has. Uh, because we've been all over the place. So I, I just, you know, it, it's, uh, but a lot, a lot, a lot has happened. So we'll cover that tonight. Uh, one of the things as far as keeping busy and, and really, uh, we were talking about, we, we announced kind of the, uh, social media art show that I'm going to be organizing it's gonna I would say it's gonna take a good nine nine to ten months uh, probably three months to get get it in line and then probably about six months of application and bringing everything together but right now uh, we're working on getting a charity I'm working on a logo we have decided that the name is going to be social media art cares uh, smack in a short short sense and we're going to be it this this is going to be uh, a open to all artists but the submissions are going to be digital so uh, there are some competitions through social media but uh, they uh, some of them exclude digital artists but this one is going to con uh, mainly concentrate on uh, accepting digital art submissions there will be a set size and there will be a set price for each one, but I'm going to try and uh, contact pretty much on social media, you know, the big names, the small names, and get this this thing going, and it should be pretty big. So, what's the acronym again? Social Media Art Cares Smack. Wow. There you go. That just we're, sort we're, of smack. Yep. Yeah, that's that, you know that's. I guess you could have called it media educating the humanity or meth. <laughs> but this is more like smack like a kiss, you know. I see. Not like smack like uh, drugs or <laughs> hitting. So okay. it's more like that. And the logo will kind of show that. So that's what we're thinking of. A smack on the lips, you know, kind of thing. So that's what we're looking at for that. Then. Uh, the, what I've been doing, there's two two great things. I want a, a shout out to uh, Carolyn Edlin. She, uh, I would, I did a, a article, a blog on social media and the artist's uh, honest uh, opinion of what I go through and how much work it is. So if you go to Artsy Shark and you check out on their what their site, or if you come to uh, you could you could find the link. I'll have the link uh, to the article at, on the bottom of this video blog. So don't and it's going rolling across the screen right now. So that'll be there. So check that out. And then another shout shout out to Joyce Krieger, who I was um, promoted in her email uh, for Art Specifier. Uh, that that seemed to work out pretty good. And then. The big news was on Saturday was my first email campaign through MailChimp. Woo! Awesome. It was good. Uh, MailChimp offers up some statistics on art or artist uh, emails. They they compile statistics of what the average is. And uh, I sent out a total of 205 emails that I had obtained through uh, business cards, through my um, ArtStrong through uh, Twitter and asking people if they were interested, that type of thing. And Facebook, and I, I compiled the 205 uh, list, and of the 205, 150 sent out, which is, it's not a huge list, but this list is very specified. It's specific to the people that already understand and know me, whether it be artists or, you know, people I've met in the art field. So, of the 100 and 205, 55 were bumped. I got to go in and do the, I got to go in and do the, the the work to see why those 55 were bumped, 
And then of the 150 that were left, there's a percentage on how many that were open. The average is 23.7%, and as of right now, I had 38% open. So I was way above the average was opening. And then 2.7 click through. It's a percentage as far as actually click on that email. And I was at 7.4% clicking through. So I was happy that I was above the average and I felt I would be based off of how I obtained these emails. But if you're watching and, and you know anybody out there on YouTube and you'd like to be a part of the mailing list, just leave a comment with your email and I will put you on the list. So that's how that goes. Awesome. So we've got those three things covered. That was pretty big, you know, between uh, Art Specifier, RC Shark, and then MailChimp. And then that brings me to uh, what I've been working on. Uh, I'm working on right now a barn scene, uh, kind of combining and trying to combine uh, the coloring that I was using for the cityscapes more into a rural landscape kind of setting. Uh, it, it gives a, it's definitely, I'm pushing the digital feel on this particular painting, but my goal is to produce some metal prints and then see if I could take it farther into the canvas. This would be a 40 by 60 canvas. Uh, so it just, this, this is lending it more, I'm trying to go more into um, a market of, uh, towards, uh, you know, maybe something that, businesses or designers would use and hang on their walls so not so much fine art it's it's definitely still has a fine art feel though so i'm always working and going forward coming up with different projects and i'm kind of chomping at the bit right now with the water tower project i've got this going on uh really it's it's to the point where it's getting to the point where uh, there's not enough hours in the day to do what I want to do, but uh, there's other ways to go about to make more hours. So That one I, looks fantastic. I can't wait to see the finished product. I, if anybody has any ideas for names, I'm always open. I know that uh, 52 Shades of Blue, the Water Tower Light Study, came up with somebody who was coming along. We really worked to get it to that point. So the same thing here. Anybody has any ideas, feel free to drop them in. But that's that's where we're at, folks. Sounds pretty awesome. So tell us about where you went last night. Oh, last night was awesome. We went to, me and my wife uh, went to see Darius Rucker. There was uh, Brothers Osborne and uh, uh, Brett Eldridge. And he, they, 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 it was really kind of nice. We went up to Blossom Music Center. Kind of nice. Uh, For those of you not familiar with that, that's an outdoor uh, venue near Cleveland. Near Cleveland, yep. yeah. And, uh, First time I was there, took me 11 years to get there, it was a really nice video, good sound, and uh, I've seen Hootie and the Blowfish twice and Darius Rucker, that was the fourth time total that I've ever seen him, and, well actually the fifth, I saw him one time and I didn't even know who he was, but, at the time, but, uh, he put on a concert that Is was, that because he wasn't famous or because you were... <laughs> no, because he wasn't famous. He, 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 the story, he actually told the story the next year he was back at, at Summerfest in Milwaukee, he played this, he, they were just introducing their first album, Cracked, I think it's Cracked Mirror, Rear, Cracked Mirror, you, whatever, and, and he was putting that out, and uh, he, they were playing Maritime Days, there was this little small thing where on Lake Michigan they sail in three boats of the period, you know, from the, from, you know, the, whatever, 18, somewhere in the 1800s. And they sail them in, and they're re remodeled. You get to go on them, but they have live music and whatever. And he was playing, and I remember saying to my wife, there was nobody. It was like a field, and they were just playing. And I said, wow, they sound, sound kind of good. And uh, so the next year, they came to Summerfest, and they were playing the main stage. And we went and saw them because it, the, that album had taken off. And sure enough, he says, he's, and I didn't even realize, he goes, we were here last year. It was a little bit different. We were at Mary, and I was like, oh, that's who that was. So I got to see them when they were nobody, and they were just playing the, the whatever venues and didn't even realize it. So it was kind of a cool thing. That was cool. But seeing him, he just knows how to, he is an entertainer it, with a good voice. He's got a great voice. And, the place. I mean, and he successfully transitioned from 
rock to, pop yeah. to country basically but and he's he, all he's still country rock he's still country I mean, rock. it's, yeah, it's, it's not, hard driving he pushes a little bit into country but he stays mainly in country rock so there's no shout out to darius rucker shout out to darius uh, he, rucker he deserves oh my it goodness. it's just an unbelievable performer he puts everything out and he's he's real you know he's a guy that you know you go and see people and they just perform kind of shares with you yep so well, not quite that exciting but a lot of fun was where we went, uh, the four of us, us and our wives, went to Gallery 121 in Maslin. Jeff was the one that dropped that on us, and it was quite the pleasant surprise. And We had a good meal and a great time. They have great art there. They have live performance. Shout out to Gallery 121. We'll put that up too. Because, Gallery 121, Maslin, Ohio. Yeah, that, that anybody locally that watches, you know, make sure you get there or keep supporting. Great place. Just all around classy place. Yes, and, and thanks again to Carolyn and Joyce yes. for their efforts on your behalf. For sure, there's no doubt. We appreciate it. This is gonna go someplace, I can feel it. We're getting going. See you next week.